Lastly, of the five dragon gods, and again, I'm going to go with the uh, the translation that people originally got because it makes more sense of uh, of the whole naming and theming scheme that were kind of like put out there. Um, with the dragon gods, all kind of have the theme over uh, the Japanese days of the week, kind of like what they call each of the days. You know, I, I, not in proper order. Well, I know that I think the first and the last one. I think the first day is the moon day. And then uh, I think it's like fire day, water day, wood day, and uh, the last day, Friday, is the gold day. And we have the gold dragon god as it was originally translated. And not only that, the name Viernes is Spanish for uh, Friday, so it makes further sense. I guess it's Spanish should be like, what, Viernes, or however you properly pronounce it in Spanish. But this one, I have the least amount to say, but not because, like, I dislike the idea of a gold dragon. I think a gold dragon is going to be really cool. It's, all of them are going to just be visually beautiful to look at. Even from, like, from every aspect, we've had some sh good uh, things come up of, of these dragons. So, so far, we, you know, we had the, the, the beautiful, sleek, yet very intimidating uh, Mersphobia to, like, the very rugged and aggressive-looking uh, Ignea. But now, you know, we got these next ones, and I feel like the gold dragon is just going to look very majestic. And just all around, like, uh, just had this very, like, imperial, uh, like, feel to him. But one thing about Viernes that, uh, was very interesting is that Mersphobia has never met him. And he, even though the, the five dragon gods have never, they've never all been together, he, he knows the other, uh, three, but he doesn't know the last one. And the last one is, uh, seemingly very extra mysterious. He only knows of its attribute and, uh, its name. And the only thing I really have, like, going at that with, uh, what we could possibly speculate, um, I believe, and I'm gonna have to Google this up literally as, uh, as I'm typing, um, I, I believe that the fact that it's gonna be, um, uh, it's gonna be Spanish themed and gold, and, well, maybe not entirely Spanish thing, but there's a Spanish aspect to his name and gold, um, as well as, you know, a, I, I think a really big aspect of, of what you could kind of tie to gold and Spanish. And I, I don't know the deepness of the lore of it, but uh, El Dorado, you know, the golden man, the golden king, as, as I'm looking at it, is a Spanish empire of, like, mythical proportions. And I know we've only seen it with uh, Mersphobia and potentially moving forward um, uh, Alderaan, if you've watched my Alderaan video of pretty much what I, uh, what I think will be his city. Um, I feel like each of the dragon gods will have something, you know, some form of, of city or temple or worshipping ground to, uh, to really kind of kind of center as uh, you know, what would be maybe their home base. And one of the reasons I think that that's very likely is uh, when they were talking about, they're talking about how they got the name Dragon God, you know, God specifically, is because people both feared and praised them. There is an aspect of worship in them. So I feel like uh, I feel like each of them are going to have their own city, like I said, or at least their own settlement of some kind, their own, in their own territory. And when you think about a, a very interesting thing about the Gold Dragon, he's... I, I can kind of think of two different um, two different kind of designs that they might go with. One is that El Dorado, you know, Spanish as both in the name and gold, maybe as you know the a really sick, really beautiful uh, golden empire, or potentially why maybe they've never met uh, between him and Mersphobia. You know, Mersphobia being a water dragon, maybe uh, maybe. Uh, Viernes lives deep underground. Maybe it'll be, he'll have like this cool like under uh, underground subterranean uh, society, and maybe he'll like live with dwarves or something. And then we'll see like maybe like a giant open cavern, like as far as I can see, with just like city structures and stuff. There's some potential really in there. Uh, I feel like the El Dorado stuff is much more likely, uh, just based off of you know. The combination of you know his his name specifically being Spanish, uh, you know the dragon gods having worship to him. El Dorado is of Spanish origin, uh, obviously gold themed and very mystic. And uh, again, I really want to know how that uh, how that goes because each of them 
are very intriguing. We've only seen two so far, but what we've seen so far is that they're both very different in both personality, design. Uh, I kind of like how their whole take on things. You had Mercphobia, who's like a reformed dragon who just wants to do, you know, when he wants to do some right for all the wrong he's done, and Ignia, who's just pretty much whatever the hell he feels like he does. And you don't know what these other dragon gods are going to be like. Um, the only thing that really I can kind of hope out of this one is maybe this one will have, just given the, the idea of it being gold, I, I feel like it's going to have the most fun personality. Because you see Ignea is a very, he's very combat oriented. Mercphobia is very chill. He's very kind of like, uh, very relaxed in a lot of ways, but also kind of still and calm. I feel like the wood dragon god is going to be um, maybe much more honest, direct, and uh, and maybe kind of have like an elven theme. And when you see the moon dragon god, I feel like the moon dragon god is, is going to be very kind of like mysterious and maybe like religious in aspect. But I feel like the gold dragon with Viernes, just kind of like the idea if you're a gold dragon living in a gold city, if the El Dorado theory is true, they're just going to have like a very... Uh, very like fun energetic flamboyant kind of personality i just kind of imagine like a really smug dragon but at the same time just like going off of like i i don't know a lot of the the spanish holidays but i know i know there's a lot of like really fun party ones and maybe that'll be part of it maybe it'll be very again very fun dragon very exciting but tell me in the comments what do you uh what you think uh is gonna come of this dragon god I, I would love to see some uh, some further kind of like delving into into more of like uh, kind of more of like culture and societies of different cities and the uh, of what these dragon gods are pretty constructed. We have a very nice peaceful one that is is very normal with Mercphobia, and you know we know that he really wanted to kind of live like a calming normal life at that point, and I, I think that kind of reflected on him, and that's why it was just so tranquil. And we're going to get, like, some crazy stuff that kind of, like, relates to what each of them are. Are, like, in personality and aspect. But other than that, uh, tell me in the comments what you think about, uh, what you think about Viernes and the theories that I've come up with. Can you think of any, any fun aspects to them that, that could be, uh, could be following it if it's related to El Dorado? And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate if you thumbs up the video, prefer the like button and subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But then I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed, and I thank you all for listening. Bye.